Hello everybody, Raven Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of How to Build. This is the series where I take you through all of my created heroes, or some of the heroes from the campaign, and tell you how I build them, how I construct them, and why I construct them the way I do. Essentially, we're going to go through their armor sets, their weapon sets, their color designs, their pieces choices, their feats, their executions, all of it, and I'm going to break down the character and what I use to build them, and today we are taking a look at at Maria the Gladiator. She was actually, I think, my second Legend video released, and she is a favorite of mine. I really enjoy designing her character, because when working on Maria, I wanted to work on a character who was struggling with loss and with emotional baggage, but did it in a unique way, rather than just walking around depressed all the time. So, without further ado, let's get started. And if you want to hear Maria's Legends first, before we get before we get going, take a look in the upper right-hand corner, where you'll get a link to the Legend video itself, or wait till the end of the video where you'll get to see uh, the playlist for all the Legends videos and you can hear all of them. All right, so let's do it. So to start off with when looking at the armor, the armor is pretty simple. You want the Sabura helm, the Sabura chest, and the Sabura arms. Those are what you're going to want. Uh, they look very refined, uh, very detailed, because one of the things about Maria is that she got accepted into Chimera uh, to help Chimera fight uh, against Horkos, and she's going to get the best that they have to offer since she's definitely a very excellent warrior, so they wanted to give her some of the finest they could. Plus, I really like the red on it. I like the golden red idea behind it, so I really thought that this would work well for her. Now, for weapons, you're going to want the Scudamore's Lion's Head, Skewdemore's Lion Shaft and Skewdemore Lion's Buckler. These are the ones you're going to want because uh, I see her as kind of a lioness. I see her as kind of this uh, cat of prey. Plus the design, I, I like the thickness of the trident head here. It looks a lot bigger and a lot more imposing. Like if you put it alongside her, it looks very dangerous looking. Uh, and it very much stands out. And that's kind of what you want from a gladiator. Want, you want them to kind of stand out. You want them to be noticeable because gladiators kind of want that attention. Now, let's go ahead on over to the rest of her stuff. Let's go to traits. I keep it on alternative two because Maria is a girl. And for skin color, I do put it on the default. I think that just looks more natural for her. You could definitely do it um, on the second one here, but I like it better here. So just keep it on the default. That'll be the easiest thing to do. For her ornament, you want the golden gargoyle, and you get that by winning ranked matches as a gladiator. So play some ranked matches, get some wins, and you may eventually get this piece. I like this because, again, one thing that I want to make clear about Maria is she went through a heavy loss. While she was a gladiator in Ashfeld, uh, she lost a very close friend of hers that she was forced to kill uh, to stay alive. It really affected her, and now that she's with uh, Chimera, she tries to hide her grief and make up for it by being as big and loud and grandiose as possible. She doesn't want people to see how um, upset she is about her loss, so she hides it by acting more pomp and more uh, big than she actually feels. In private, she's a broken wreck, but out on the battlefield, she hides it behind a lot of pomp, a lot of glamour. Like, she wants to look imposing and joking and jovial more than anything because she doesn't want people to see any weakness in her. She doesn't want to expose that. All right, so next for material, you want the gold. Gold is just going to look better overall. It contrasts with the red very well, the crimson that we've got. So you want that gold plating. You want the gold material. Now for her overall design, actually you're going to like this. So for the left arm, absolutely nothing. You don't need anything for the left arm because that's covering up the shield. And look, if you put anything on the shield, it just looks silly at that point. So just leave it alone. I would say leave it alone. So no need to worry about the left arm. For the left shoulder, no paint pattern, no symbol, but you want the Paisley 2 embossing or embossing. Uh, it's a little hard to notice, but it adds some more texture to the uh, shoulder plate. So I would definitely go with the Paisley 2 embossing. You get that at Reputation 18, level 20. So work your Gladiator up to there and you'll be able to get access to that. For the right shoulder, you want no paint pattern, no symbol, but the Lion 1 embossing, which you get at Reputation 19, level 20. Uh, I, you can actually see the Lion a little bit on her shoulder plate there. Uh, it looks kind of freaky, but it also goes along with the idea of her being a Lioness, so I thought that this would work very well for her. For her standard, you want the paint pattern Abstract Waves, which you get at Reputation 9, level 6. 
and you want the embossing two-headed eagle, which you get at Reputation 22, level 20. This is kind of a nod to the Byzantine Empire. That, that's the whole reason I did that. I wanted to make a little nod to the Byzantine Empire, no other reason than that. So I thought that would work really well. In honesty, though, you don't need it. Again, like I said, that was a nod for me. Another good option would be the Sword Angel, which you get at Reputation 12, level 20. I go with the two-headed eagle, but either way works. And then finally for the legs, you want the paint pattern Rising Ball, which you get at Rep 2. You can get that at, at, at yeah. you can get that as part of Reputation Outfit 2. And then for symbol, you want the Storm of Flames 1. And you get that by acquiring the Raining Inferno bundle or scavenging the battlefield during the Inferno uh, event. If you do not have that, there is another one that you could use instead. You can use the Uninvited Misfortune 2, which is unlocked through the Black Priors Repost bundle. Or you can use the Utopia through Control, which is exclusively from the for Creed Event Elite outfit. If you don't have any of those, like if you don't have any of those, the last one I would offer is the Gold Lease, which you can get by getting the Flying Lease Mythic outfit. So those would be my choices for the foot. Now, the big question though, everyone wants to know what's the color pattern. So here it is. The color pattern is Sunwine which you get at Reputation 15, level 16. I love the crimson and gold contrast. It looks fantastic on her. Makes her makes Maria look, it makes her stand out. It makes her look austere. It makes her look kind of royal or regal too, very much like a lion. In fact, my brother pointed out this is kind of Gryffindor's colors from Harry Potter. I can agree with that, but it makes her look regal, royal even. So, and again, she wants to stand out. Maria wants to hide some of her pain behind her pomp. So, this is a good way to do that and the crest at the top makes it look more like it's a lion thing and notice how if you change the colors it still could work she could still look good with any color scheme but for her personality i thought sunwine would look a lot better all right so with that out of the way let's take a look at her feats and abilities so for her feats I went with Bounty Hunter as the first feat because uh, the way she fights when she goes into battle, I want her to have this desire to kill and to take out the enemy. So she's going to hunt down as many as she can and that gives her motivation to keep going. I gave her Haymaker as her second feat because, you know, like it, not only is it a good feat and it allows her to get in her bashes a lot easier, but I feel like with each punt she just gets angrier, so I thought that would work. I use the Boladorius, which is um, throwing a bolo or a bolo weapon at the enemy, which not only does a little bit of damage, but uh, holds them in place for a brief moment. She's not going to let her enemy get away. That's the thing. She doesn't want her enemies escaping or running away from her. She's going to take you out. And then finally, I use Roar of the Crowd for her fourth feat, because when it comes to gladiators, they love the passion of the crowd. They love whenever the crowd gets amped up, and she is going to get amped up when she feels like the pressure is on. Again, the whole idea behind her is that she doesn't want to show weakness, so she is going to, you know, get herself pumped up. She's going to say, no, I'm going to push that down, I'm going to push that aside, and I'm going to power through, I'm going to be strong, and if that means I have to put on a bit of a show, that's what I'm going to do. Now, for executions, I use Stop Squirming. It's a very basic execution, but it very much fits Gladiator, and it fits Maria um, as she takes down her enemy and just kind of plunges the trident into them. I use Skill Performer. It's a fast execution, and it fits again because it's doing a little bit of a showmanship there. I use Flying Farewell for her because I think that what she'd do there, I get this mental image of her going up against an enemy, beating him, and then throwing his body into, the, into the, her enemies, like just saying, hey, here's your leader back, and then that causes a lot of uh, demoralization in the enemy. Like, I don't see this as much of a ledge execution for Maria as much as it is a, here, take your commander back, I'm done with him. Like, that, I find that a lot more funny. And then Carpe Ventrum. I see this as, again, her hiding behind her pomp, kind of like, look at this, I'm beating him, I'm beating him, I'm so much more powerful than you think I am, that kind of thing. So those are the ones I use for her. For emotes, I use Moment of Silence, because she will show respect when she needs to, and Twister. She's showing off. That's all there is to it. She's showing off. And for Free Roam, I use Kill Card. Because, again, this is her showing off, kind of being a showman. She wants to hide behind something, and she's hiding behind some trickery and fun. She's having a good time, or at least she wants you to think she is. And recognition. Again, showing some honor when she needs to. But at the same time, still telling the crowd she's who matters. For signatures, I use with glamour because, again, she's being goofy. She's being silly. You know, kind of like, ha-ha, we won. And kind of showing off, kind of being a goofball. Because, again, there's some pain there, and she wants to hide it. And finally, for effects. There are a few effects. 
For her emotes, I use Master of Peace because she is working with Chimera, and I thought being a Master of Peace would fit with her because, you know, at this, despite her being a warrior and a showman, she is she is fighting for the peace of Heathmore. For her execution, I use Hellfire. And the reason I use that is because it kind of embodies her passion. She is very wild. She is very impassioned. She truly wants to fight and take down her opponents and those around her. And so when she gets fired up to do that, I just kind of see that in this uh, in, in this effect style. Plus, you could argue that maybe it's some kind of smoke and mirrors trick that she uses to add more pomp to herself. And so that's why I use Hellfire for that. And for idle effect, I use Hellfire again. You know, there's something scary about seeing a gladiator who is actually burning with desire. You know, she's actually burning with intensity. So that gets a little bit scary for the enemy, right? And that about wraps up Maria. I hope you liked that. When, when it comes down to Maria, her whole story revolved around the reality that a friend of hers gave up his life to save her in the gladiator arena. She lost someone precious to her. She was given a second chance by Chimera, and now... She is fighting for his memory and fighting to uh, hide her own pain. There's a lot there that I really enjoyed. I'd love to explore her story a little bit further, but that's for another time. If you want to hear her story, again, go check out the playlist. That'll show up in just a minute, and you'll find her story there. If you don't really care about the story but just want to know how to build her, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care.